industrial waste water treatment. Let's learn about waste minimization and treatment of wastewater for distillery. Okay. So, this is lesson number 14. Now, we are already aware about characteristic of wastewater also known as spent wash. So, in this lecture, we will focus on treatment of spent wash, then waste minimization and byproduct recovery for distillery industry. So, the disposal standard for treated wastewater as per the Indian standard IS2490 and standard given by Ministry of Environment and Forest. They are for BOD, BOD3 at 27 degrees Celsius is 30 milligram per liter for disposal into stream or river, 100 milligram per liter for disposal on land and the standard for total dissolved solids is 2000 milligram per liter. Now, if you compare this standard to the characteristics of spent wash, you can see that the required removal efficiency is 99.9 percent with respect to BOD and TDS, 97 percent. Now, this efficiency where your initial concentration is so high, it is almost impossible task. Bring down TDS level to 2100 or bring BOD to 30 milligram per liter is almost impossible task. And hence, now all the new distilleries, they are given target is zero discharge approach, no treatment and disposal of spent wash, whatever spent wash is generated, no liquid should be disposed. So, it is called ZLD, zero liquid discharge approach and this we will discuss what are the options for zero discharge for spent wash as separate topic under unit 6. So, which is very, very exhaustive and detailed uh, learning and here we will then focus on waste minimization for distillery. All the earlier distillery before ZLD was imposed, they are given certain guidelines and under strict condition the disposal is allowed but all the new distillery there is no disposal allowed for treated spent wash okay so some steps which can be implemented for minimization of waste we will focus on that the number one process change or process modification. So, you can observe that continuous process for fermentation, it results in less quantity of spent wash. So, rather than batch, continuous fermentation process should be favored. Then, every time instead of preparing fresh culture, for yeast, the yeast which is separated after fermentation, which is already mature and active, that can be recycled for fermentation of the next batch rather than every time using uh, fresh cultivated culture. Okay. Then spent wash recycling. So, as I discussed earlier, bio steel process where instead of using 100 percent fresh water for dilution of molasses, 
25% of spent was generated from distillation process is recycled as dilution water. So, the benefit is volume of spent wash requiring this treatment and disposal is reduced considerably. Okay. And then use of reboiler here instead of heating the spent wash directly, it is uh, the reboilers are used where the condensate, the vapor emanated during distillation process is collected, separated and collected and this condensate is then uh, reused again for steam production, it is free from impurities. So, this is process change or modification steps. The other option for waste minimization, recycling of wastewater stream. So, the non-process application like steam, cooling water, water from blowers, condenser, fermenter, fermentation, uh, process cooling, <coughs> all these are non-process water, they are free from impurities and you can readily reuse and recycle. So, huge quantity of fresh water is saved, then clothes circulation, cooling, which ensures that your cooling water remains contaminated free. Okay. Then vacuum distillation. So, by carrying out the distillation under vacuum, the temperature required for boiling is reduced drastically and so vacuum distillation is also favored for this distillation process. Okay. Then in plant control measures like conservation and uh, recycling of water, good housekeeping, prevention of spillage and leakage. And the last step in this process is byproduct recovery. So, before we talk about byproduct recovery, just pause the video and think what you can recover from this simple two step process or what you can recover from the processing on molasses, which is basically waste of the sugar industry. Yeah. So, what we call byproduct. The byproducts are product which can be recovered from solid and liquid waste. Unlike sugar industry, here the distillery process does not offer much scope for byproduct recovery. And the main byproduct recovery from this industry, it includes yeast sludge. Once portion of it is recycled, the remaining yeast sludge. This yeast sludge you can utilize for cattle feed recovery. Otherwise, the byproduct recovery, no scope, much scope for this distillery industry. So, with this we end this lecture number 14 and in the next lecture, Number 15, we will check up discussion for yet another agro-based industry and that is dairy industry. Thanks everyone.